Rangoon was our fate to welcome a most important visitor, the Chinese Premier Cho Enlai. The peaceful and artistic Burmese were at their most hospitable, and that's saying a lot. Cho is the leading light of a nation bent on progressing industrially in the shortest possible time. Whether he found festive Burma relaxing or disconcerting, who could tell? Much less a pleasure trip was the Chinese Premier's visit to India, where government and people are very angry with China over border disputes. Nevertheless, there were no signs of disharmony at the Rajgat, where the visitor paid a tribute to the memory of Gandhi. At the presidential palace, former home of the Indian viceroys, began the serious work of the visit. Dr. Prasad welcomed Cho on behalf of the Indian Republic. It has distressed India that friendship with China should have been strained. Hence, outside government circles, there's a strong anti-China movement, whose members make no bones about not welcoming Cho. There was a demonstration against China, and 55 people were arrested. Small wonder that at the residence of Premier Nehru, talks began in a rather difficult atmosphere. China seems to have gone out of her way along her frontiers with India, and especially in Tibet, to humiliate Mr. Nehru. Yet even now, India strongly discouraged the anti-China movement. Two statesmen, in their different ways among the shrewdest in the world, were playing for high diplomatic stakes.